Hello, my name is Michael Y. Session, and welcome to our course on the geologic wonders of the world. Over the next 36 half-hour lectures, we will travel all over the surface of the Earth, well, at least from the comfort of this room, to visit some of the most spectacular, fantastic geologic wonders that have yet been discovered on our remarkable planet. And I guarantee that even if you are very well traveled, there will be no shortage of surprises here for you. Now, before I go any farther, I need to define what I mean by the word wonder, as in geologic wonder. I'm using the word to mean something that stands apart from the things that you would normally see in your daily lives. Something that is often rare, or at least infrequent, and that you'd need to go to a certain place or places to see. To me, a geologic wonder is something that creates a, a lasting impression on me and that I have a memory of long after I've seen it. Something that is wondrous is more than just beautiful, though that often plays a very important role in it. I mean, the beauty of the natural world, whether it's mountains or shorelines, rivers, wherever, has long been a great inspiration for artists of all kinds, painters, musicians, writers. But I think that a geologic wonder also makes you stop and ask, uh, ask questions like, how did this get here? Or how does something like this ever form in the first place? Now, this course rests upon a premise that when you look at something with added knowledge about it, it becomes more interesting to you. I mean, think about something that you like to do or watch, a hobby or a sport. I think that the more that you know about it, the more fascinating it becomes. Take baseball, for example. Some people find it boring, but I've spent long enough playing it and watching it that I see more than just the long pauses between pitches. I see the communication between the pitcher and the catcher, the batter and the runners trying to figure that out, the fielders worrying about where they're going to go the moment the ball is hit. There is so much going on, even when it seems like nothing's happening. Maybe a better analogy would be looking at a picture of a person that you know very well. Compare it to a picture of some random person, one of more than 7 billion on this planet. It, it may be a pretty face, but it won't mean anything to you. But take a picture of someone you've known well for decades, maybe your life's partner, and you see so much more in that picture, it evokes a strong emotional reaction to you. And I think the same is true for an object in nature, such as a mountain. I mean, it may be aesthetically beautiful, but it's just another mountain. But if you know its history, its formation in crucible of some massive collision between ancient continents, the slow and relentless wearing away of that mountain under the unforgiving law of gravity over tens of millions of years, then you begin to see that mountain with the eyes of a geologist, and it evokes an emotional response as well, perhaps a deep and profound feeling of respect and maybe even of wonder. So the goal of this course is to help you develop a sense of awe and wonder at that spectacular world that is formed about us, and a sense of awe for the processes that have formed our amazing world. Now, another reason that by wonder I don't just mean beautiful is that, frankly, it would just be too arbitrary. You know, if you like mountains, like I personally do, you could easily fill up 36 lectures with beautiful mountains. There are just so many of them. But you know, when I travel with my family, we don't just go to mountains, we go to the ocean as well. And if you like beaches and coastlines, like Margaret does, then there would be no shortage of spectacular beaches to fill the course. So how do I choose what the 36 or so geologic wonders should be? I mean, there are just so many amazing places on the earth to choose from. I'm sure you even have your own list from your own travels. Well. I've decided to give at most one or two lectures on any given geologic feature or phenomenon to spread out the lectures across the very wide array of features on the Earth. So there'll be one lecture on waterfalls, one on glaciers, and so on. Now, I have to add that these choices are very arbitrary. There is no consensus in my community as to the geologic wonders of the world. There, there's no list somewhere like there is for the, the ancient seven wonders of the world. They are my own choices, though I have gone to experts I know at many points for advice. So 
Why should you take my word for it? Well, I've just spent a real long time thinking, writing, and teaching about these things. I've written science textbooks from elementary school level, middle school, high school, undergraduate, graduate levels. I've, I've led a national earth science literacy initiative to, uh, that created a list of what every citizen should know about earth science. I've helped write the earth and space science parts of the nation's new national K-12 through science education standards, the next generation science standards. So I'm just going to ask you to trust me on it. Now, personally, choosing among the world's geologic wonders has actually been very difficult for me. I confess, I agonized for a long time over whether to choose Iguazu Falls in Argentina or Victoria Falls along the border of Zambia and Zanzibar in Africa as the most spectacular waterfall. They're both amazing. And then there's Angel Falls in Venezuela, which is the tallest waterfall, and Niagara Falls, which is actually the most voluminous. How do you pick? Well, I took the easy way out, and I came up with a top five list for each lecture. At the end of each lecture, I will give you my list of the top runners-up. Sometimes, frankly, every bit as spectacular as my first choice. I end up talking about a lot of places. And it's my hope that you will have the opportunity to travel to some of these places and see them for yourself. There's a saying in Spain, is not the same thing to speak of bulls as it is to be in the ring. Or, or if you've already been to some of them, then you'll be able to see these with a new perspective and renew your own memories Here's the with an increased sense of, of appreciation. Coca-Cola. To refresh the world, I confess I have another motive for the course as well. And happiness. I hope to create that in marveling at Earth's geologic wonders, you will also develop a respect and appreciation for this incredible planet. I mean, forgotten. we as humans are Often intimately connected with the Earth in, its in all ways. Its we get our lost, resources its from it, sterile, we're impacted by natural power. hazards, Look hard and, at the and now with more than 7 billion humans strategy. on the planet, the we have become the greatest geologic jargon, force on Earth's surface. Dull, we actually affect Earth's systems sometimes in an order of magnitude more than any other geologic force. If you can't even tell what the and we need to does learn our strength and be mindful well, there's a of it. tremendous problem right there. And I hope that through all this you'll begin to the see the whole myth planet and the mission um, with the, the eyes of a geologist. planning emerges it now, sets the direction I should also tell you what this course won't be it, One of the it's great not an introductory geology or earth science years. course the, the, the teaching company already has Henry Mensberg at um, Canada's now, in explaining University. Some of the Minsburg geologic wonders that I'll be visiting, I will be digging into many topics planning that you would find in one of these introductory courses. And he has a special in topics place like plate tectonics, the the climate change, the, the evolution strategy, of the planet, the interconnection of Earth's many different systems Minsburg operating once said together that on the surface. About strategy shouldn't make you reach for but the these topics button. will always be subservient strategy, to the task so at hand serious. of explaining how a particular geologic wonder has formed. And I'll introduce them and bring them in just as they are needed. Generic, now, there's no course I know of dull. like this strategy that's taught at any university. Inspire. At least, So an uninspiring not yet. strategy is really no strategy now, at all. This is not a the course about the, the natural wonders of the world. And I make this boring. distinction because have that would have to include living things as well. I'd, I'd have to include whale songs and monarch butterfly migrations. Seriously, they end up with more I personally results. would definitely want we to watch such a course the on the natural wonders of the and world, but that's far beyond the statement. scope of our course the product here. Is coffee. So, I won't focus on the, the Great Google Barrier exchange. Reef off the coast of Australia, as remarkable as it is. Company but a unique if you course take in marketing a coral barrier reef, they sell a bury it for 100 million years until it turns into limestone, um, dig it up, erode the it away into spectacular shapes, is then you have a farmers, geologic wonder. A closer connection so between people life and farmers, plays an important on. role they didn't just in creating the geology of this planet. And, and I will certainly spend some time on it as well. Do it in a way, I also an won't focus way, too much on the ocean or the atmosphere the or on Earth's deep interior. Of I've, I've tried to pick places Help that you can actually go and visit. The deep Earth, I mean, way down deep, is absolutely spectacular. I'm a little biased. It's my own area of research, of the people but we can't ever go work. down there and visit it. 
establish uh, a in the ocean, the Gulf Stream who is remarkable that and very important. Uh, it's and what uh, keeps Europe warm. Worthwhile endeavor. Uh, but there isn't much to this see there if you were to visit. Expedition Though there are, are whole the courses on the ocean and ocean science. All of equal exchanges marketing carries and its last, message. I've tried to choose geologic wonders coffee. that would Everything have an interesting story to tell. Mission. Because bean, we love stories. Organic, mine, they're, body, they're one of the best soul. ways now, that this human beings learn. One of the oldest ways. Best. Um, and they're just so important to us uh, and our culture. Strategic planning. And there are few now, geologic now wonders with a better to story to tell of than the planning, eruption of the island the of Santorini of in Greece, the training of which soldiers, is going to be the, the focus of, soldiers, of this first lecture on volcanic eruptions. All of this requires forethought and planning. Santorini is an island Prior located the among era, the Cyclades Islands in the, the Aegean Sea, the general, in the, the eastern monarch, Mediterranean. With advice from it's a beautiful trusted island. You, you often see it on, on calendars and saw its beginnings in Prussia during the But it has an interesting era. story to tell in terms this was of the its beginning history. Of the most famous military you go back 4,000 years ago, the Prussian general the Minoan staff, civilization on Crete ruled the, the eastern King Mediterranean. Wilhelm they were the most powerful empire. Their ships controlled trade throughout the region. The they were very wealthy. They were very advanced. In 1814. And they had cities this outside of Crete, the and their largest city in history. Outside of the now, mainland of Crete, in was history, it was Akrotiri, that which is on the south side of the small operations. island of Thera that As we now call Santorini. The now, idea if you look at a picture of Santorini, it has a very unusual into shape. The business realm after it is World War a I, ring of And there were early rock efforts in the 1920s. At Harvard and you look University at it and you wonder how Harvard could such a formation involved. occur? I mean, this was what geologic was process more of would make an island to action in the shape of a ring? Methodology. Now, Although it if you go and little, visit Santorini, which approach, is often done by boat, as I have done, the answer becomes immediately clear. Be joined later it's a massive military volcano. Planning you in the actually World sail right into the caldera of a giant volcano. Ford Motor Company it's truly was in financial amazing. trouble after World now, War II. Santorini was born as a volcano chaos. several million years ago. And in the time since Henry it's Ford actually II. gone through and several cycles where was a volcanic the cone of the builds up and then His it explodes away violently, ejecting out much of the interior so rock of the island. To the military. Following one of these large really eruptions, quite reasonably, the magma the underneath States drains back downward into the earth, Normandy, which causes the bottom of the volcano France to collapse, Germany, and this uh, adds Imperial to Japan the formation of what we call a large caldera. Caldera usually is a case where the bottom of the volcano is dropped out due to the draining of the magma, and it gives you that large empty area in the middle. It's management now, problems. Um, the cycle to the US Army most Air recently Force happened about 21,000 years ago. He there was hired a very large eruption then that would have blown out much of the interior and would have made the, the island kids. look something with like advanced this. Planning, organization, um, and and management it stayed this way system, roughly and they up until about uh, 3,600 years ago the when there was the, the most recent large eruption. Robert and during this time, was quickly a massive a cataclysmic forward. explosion would have thrown ash and, and rock analysis, throughout the Mediterranean area and would have actually blown away much of the north side of the island. The volcano would have stayed looking like this for a while, though if you visit Santorini now you'll notice These there's a small island in the middle the that has happened since then administrative chaos with the process the of years. eruption of uh, magma wittingly, coming up in the, the middle it's actually the building of up the volcano from underneath and it eventually may become it another large volcano that will planning. once again go through this large but American cycle. Corporations so began to base if you their compare the way the island was before and data. after, and I have to say that the figure the on the left here the is somewhat year, of a guess based on, on our best sheets, geologic evidence, you can see that the eruption that happened um, 3,600 years ago removed an enormous amount of rock from the interior of the island, once a year, uh, making it look largely all the way the it does now. Of precision. now if you actually go and Planners visit began Santorini, moving farther um, farther what you see is a remarkable the company, site. And they the walls on budget of the numbers there as a are beautiful. For with they, they are filled with alternating the layers of planning, red and point, white and orange really ash and lava that has of come out over time might. in the process in of the building up this volcano. Had few competitors. 
American industrial so the geologic record to hide from Santorini tells had, a particularly the remarkable story for the eruption defects um, that would loom that ever was uh, actually, as, the as far as we passed. can tell, a 1628 now, flush with before the common the era. That date actually the comes the from climate records around Robert the McNamara globe. Joined the presidential administration geologic excavations Kennedy, have revealed Secretary of Defense. a very thin he layer of ash that strategic of planning would be elevated to the highest organizational levels of government. And he created a about high priest 200 feet of volcanic ash. To him. In fact, when Daniel you go Lowe's and visit Santorini, Lowe's there's a, a thick, top, white Adam layer Lowe's of ash, and that's the, the, the ash that blew out during this massive to eruption. Many other public sector um, organizations the blast was so years, large, it, it ejected about the kind of 60 cubic kilometers it. of shattered work, rock. And though only we call this tephra. First scale, Mount St. Helens, emitted the about one the gospel of strategic So this was 60 times larger the than the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. Tool it was even three times larger than the large eruption of Krakatoa in 1883. The firms would create complex the city of Akrotiri was destroyed, on buried under 200 feet of ash. And, and, and this was this an incredibly markets. advanced city. I, I can't Early impress upon you. Planning Archaeological more excavations more have found Three-story buildings with results. indoor plumbing, two in pipe decade, systems of uh, hot and cold running water. Dominance. In fact, they used the geothermal much, heat the from the magma gone, underground to heat their water. These were very advanced the people. Of the Japanese. What's remarkable the is that the Arab there are no bodies poverty of the current Now, you may remember, in the case of Vesuvius, things, which erupted it uh, in Italy in the year 79, and the there were more than a thousand people that were trapped by the falling and flowing ash in Pompeii and Herculaneum. And excavations have planet, found the, the casts the of these bodies. Plan, the there were no people here that were caught in the eruption. So it seems as if, even though the there may have the only been months in between, human behavior, the initial the unpredictability um, uh, small of the uh, volcanic eruption, that, that thin layer of ash with the, the footprints in early it, um, gave people enough time correct, to evacuate before the, the whole Minsburg island identifies blew away. Three fallacies that have it, they even took all their precious belongings. We know that the Minoan culture the was very wealthy. In fact, only one gold statue was found the in the entire island. This it was actually hidden underneath a skeleton in a tomb. Somebody but tried course, to take it with them when the they went. And basing our plans on this single line of Interestingly, thought, it can be there disastrous. is evidence at this time of widespread Second destruction the throughout the Mediterranean, this refers uh, to the tendency of planners to remove themselves from the scene of the action. Fires, this and there's is evidence of perhaps a very large tsunami that was caused by the eruption. Third, Again, Akrotiri and Santorini are now, very close to Crete, of strategy and, a and binder the mentality. massive uh, tsunami the from this eruption plan would have been binder. devastating we put to Crete, it on which was a seafaring culture. It, um, it perhaps it would have wiped away their entire fleet the days on the north side of the island. It becomes even less of a representation. What's interesting of what from a historical point of view was, does. even though there is the evidence that the Minoans rebuilt the their cities, their they were severely weakened. So and within 100 to 150 years, question. they had been overrun by the if Mycenaeans planning has from such an what is now track Greek, record, uh, Greece. And seems fruitless uh, in hindsight. The Mycenaeans, incidentally, why do we took speak of the Minoan language. Was, we call it Linear B, and that became the first form of the Greek language. Beginning so in the, late the Greek language, which then influenced so many other languages, actually originated well, um, from the Minoan culture of Crete. And how they there was a predecessor to Linear B. It's called to Linear this A. Of but this language remains the undecipherable. The if, you, if you visit Marking Santorini, thinking, though, you see remains that have the writing Linear A written on them. And perhaps global if one day someone might be able to interpret McKinsey this language, we might actually get the first account of a volcanic the evolution eruption. Of effectiveness uh, of strategic until then, we're just going to have to guess based McKinsey on the geological evidence. Of ineffective planning, now, it played there are American a few very interesting correlations of events from this challenges. time. Um, this a time before there were any deciphered we written language. The way we conceive of 1,300 years later, more quickly, than 1,000 years phases, later, so that we Plato can wrote how we in his dialogues of Timaeus and Critias of the destruction of Atlantis. And he wrote, 
the financial At a later time, there occurred now, this portentous earthquakes is, is almost and a purely floods. Financial problem. And one was grievous day and an night befell them exercise. when the whole body We've of your warriors was swallowed yet, up by the earth and the island of Atlantis because in like of manner was swallowed up the by the sea and vanished. Forecast based now, planning, which there are many hypotheses about what might was have inspired this story. That apparently had been handed down generation to generation for over a thousand years. Was but a leading theory is that planning. this refers this to the eruption of, of Santorini because it uh, and the destruction of the, the city of Akrotiri and much of the Minoan culture. Of competitors and other Interestingly, businesses. at roughly the same time, on the, the other side of the Mediterranean, was the Israelites were leaving here. We aim now, to well the timing doesn't work out quite right. It seems like process, though, that event may have been more than a century later, as far as we understand it. But if you execution. look at the description this in the Old Testament of that event, to think uh, the Israelites following the entire a pillar of smoke by day and a fire by night. But this, of course, darkness is occurring during the day. There was stuff falling from the sky. This is rarely the sea opening up, of natural inertia, pulling back, the and then rushing power. forward. And the unity this of effort sounds a lot like so this a brings volcano us to the state and an associated tsunami. Today. Now, our purposes, there's nothing more we can say about it. The only writing is what appears in the incredible Old Testament. Benefits. But if it, we it's fascinating that it's very possible that the I events of this one single volcanic process. eruption six not only changed the course of civilization there, essentially here, bringing the Minoan culture to an end, but provided the inspiration and source of these two well-known stories from that time, handed down form. orally for many hundreds of years. Now, this strategic Atlantis process and the Exodus. One version of planning. It's not the only process. Why did this eruption even Every competent occur? firm has its own version I mean, of this process. Are volcanic eruptions steps. simply random geologic events that you find around the, the world? Steps. I mean, why here Two and in this we've location? Covered in this lecture. Well, the for the answer to this, I need to head lectures. back across the Mediterranean to Africa. It is, in fact, all Africa's analysis fault that the eruption on Santorini formulation. occurred. Strategy, um, as I will discuss more in the next lecture uh, when I talk about Mount Fuji, the First, Earth's surface is mission. broken into about a dozen I began major this lecture pieces with a dramatic that we call to tectonic plates. Your mission is your core. There are about a dozen guides. large plates, about a, a, another dozen now, or so minor plates. This is sentences? what we call the lithosphere. It's the top 60 miles or so of the Earth's surface. Both their and these pieces and move about lives. the surface of the Earth. Entire and when these pieces of the Earth never either to their mission um, to guide collide them into each other or pull apart, or so slide step, past each other, of we get exciting the based on some notion. The region we're talking in particular is right up in the clear, boundary between concise, the African plate and the Eurasian plate, and, and this is a particular boundary that we call you want a to subduction see zone. Your mission. And the way a subduction you zone works is the a piece of the ocean seafloor, and in this case served, it's the Mediterranean Sea, clients, sinks beneath the edge of another plate. In this case, the southern part of Europe. Are increasing. In the, the process, hill is taken it from generates the magma, school, which rises up to form volcanoes. In the Peace Corps. So if you look throughout the Greek islands, these are now, all the volcanoes pivotal that have formed and from this most process involved. of this subduction. Is the environmental now, scan. Uh, if you we go on and look at the actual tectonics of the region, you can understand why this is happening. To begin on with, the level, African plate the is rotating us with into Eurasia. As part of that process, the, the Arabian plate has actually for, broken away. It. We're going to talk it's more about that when we talk about the African about Rift Valley. And, and it is sliding and northward, the outside crashing into to Eurasia. See we can actually do In response, do. the whole peninsula of what is now Turkey, strategic generally called history. Anatolia, Common is being pushed all that westward. Common. And colliding now, into Greece, the which pushes the whole region down south, which brings it do into contact with the African are, plate rising up northward. We so decide the Santorini, when, where, and how much um, again, we've called we that, uh, the, the old name for that is Thera, and, we connect um, and our all the rest of the volcanoes the uh, in this region, the so most are inactive. But uh, some uh, are dormant and can of our become active again. Here is where All of these companies are a result of this efforts. tectonic collision between Africa and Eurasia. The Mediterranean Sea in the process is being destroyed. This means and if not you to were to come back to this region in a few tens of billions of years, 
There will be nothing here. Too many Africa dissonant factors will be directly can disrupt connected even the best in, of plans. With the rest of the variables Eurasia. can wreak havoc on our work. We I like starting with this example. Right at the very start of civilization, and this leads the influence of the Earth's final geology of upon society is very process. forcibly and dramatically Control. demonstrated. I mean, is these just Greek islands like. are beautiful, a but they only exist because of the plate tectonics of this region. Africa crashing is into Europe, closing up the Mediterranean. And, if not, and the same not? forces We're that make these beautiful islands can also They're destroy all around us. As Plato in said in one grievous day and night. Is regular and, and it's possible to verify that this that one eruption and teaching may have brought about the working. end of this, the Minoan civilization and forever changed the dynamics of, of history. I mean, who and knows, helps perhaps I would be giving this lecture in Greek right now if Santorini had never erupted Or continuous improvement. Is a form so, of control. So let me round out my top five now when for our the subject of historic volcanic eruptions. And, is and let me go strategy, back to Mount Vesuvius in Italy, which I mentioned erupted in the year 79 of the Common the Era. This volcano really change. represents the birth of modern geophysics think about our because the eruption was described process, in great detail by Pliny the Younger. In fact, this kind of an eruption with, with ash being ejected tens of thousands we don't want of to feet do up into the atmosphere like else. has come to we be don't called want to be a Plinian eruption in honor of that description. Undifferentiated in any meaningful um, way. Pliny was also not the first uh, eyewitness to describe the process of a we tsunami. He wrote that the sea seemed to roll back it upon itself and to be driven from this its banks. This is one of the most incredible So we have a tremendous amount of information for the first time on how one of these eruptions occurred. It's also such a Harvard dramatic story. What um, the, the, the ash flows and falls, what does it take to burying so many people in, different in products place, or producing um, old really products catching in ways. the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum largely by surprise. Available to everyone, and it was surprising because even though Vesuvius has erupted many times before and has erupted many times time. since, it's actually the only view, European the mainland frame, volcano that has erupted within the last well century. A decade um, or more. It had been quiet for a Maybe long time before, in fact, um, during the uprising of the famous fugitive slave Spartacus, Spartacus and his army actually hid out in the caldera of Vesuvius. They had no idea that this was an active volcano. Remember the plan Next, recommended to President I'll, Kennedy I'll take for beating us to the Indonesia, to the beating island the Russians of Sumbawa, took literally a decade. for the volcano Planning Mount far Tambora. In has other advantages. Tambora right. had an enormous Porter eruption noted, in the year 1815, plan so about 200 activity, years ago. And the fit um, it ejected on the order of 160 an cubic kilometers skills of ash and rock. Its uh, really, it's the largest in recorded Human history. Now, as we enter um, into the eruption, directly process, killed about seventy thousand people um, in that general region. But it also greatly changed the climate of the world. Strategic so much ejected it ash it inherits, and, and aerosols. And I'll talk more about this later it on. Time, blocked out and it sunlight, can take too much causing time, a drop in global temperature. The and the executed. following year, eighteen sixteen, is known as the year without a summer. More than it uh, the worst Perhaps famines in the northern hemisphere in the nineteenth century occurred. During this time, it actually drove much of the exploration of the United States because people on the eastern coast, their crops failed, they were starving, they threw their belongings in the covered wagons. And, and headed out west. What we have discussed in this lecture is an the next uh, of eruption, planning, uh, again that I mentioned already, was the eruption the of Krakatoa mission. in 1883. We'll the other steps now, Krakatoa is also in Indonesia, but it now, exists as a lone island in between the islands and of Sumatra and Java. The and is actually in the process, process of filling them in. The as more magma occurs, the there will eventually be a continuous island connecting Java and Sumatra. Near the beginning of massive eruption back in 18. To you, the example of the French created an incredible an explosion. The blast actually heard more than 5,000 kilometers from a away. Conflict on a uh, dusty the eruption killed about 40,000 people, most from a what tsunami, and that tsunami today? actually was the largest tsunami in the Indian Ocean French since the recent uh, earthquake that happened in Sumatra in the year 2004. To its founding tradition. When you look at the island Every of Krakatoa, you see also that it is uh, it's La uh, empty in the middle, it has a very similar appearance to Santorini, and indeed its process of, of going through a cycle of building up a, a cone source and then blowing it out is very similar to, to that of Santorini. I'm going to talk a little bit more about both Tambora 
in and Krakatoa a splendid in Lecture 26. How to link those and last, the strategy let me go to Iceland to the volcano Laki, which had an extended eruption that began in 1783. This eruption released an enormous amount of sulfur dioxide aerosols, which significantly caused uh, a large drop in temperature as well. There were crop failures in Europe. In fact, it's quite likely that this eruption in Iceland was responsible for the collapse of the French monarchy and gave rise to the French Revolution in 1789. The winter before the storming of the Bastille was the coldest in, in the century, and people were starving in large numbers. I will talk more about this in Lecture 27 when we visit Iceland. The list could easily go on. There are just so many more to choose from. Again, our own human history is so strongly influenced by the history of geologic events. Next lecture, I'm going to continue the theme of volcanoes, but I'm going to focus not on the eruptions, but on the volcanoes themselves, and we're going to visit what is often considered to be the most spectacular volcano of all, Mount Fuji in Japan.